Welcome to the broadcast. Good to be with you guys once again. Tonight, we're going to have a glorious time in the presence and the power of the Holy Ghost. No distance in the realm of the Spirit as the weight of the glory of God fills the studio. It also fills your house. So make sure that as you come in, that you let your world in on what the Spirit of God is doing right now as we go into the weight of His glory. The Lord is looking for people that would carry His glory, people that would carry the weight of His glory. And tonight we're going to dig that revelation. How can you become one that carries the very weight of the presence of God? As you guys come in, please just share the broadcast. We have people connected from all over the globe, hungry, thirsty for the move of the Spirit of God. And I know that the Holy Ghost is going to minister to us. We're going to see the power of God move. We're going to prophesy, cast out devils, demonstrate the supernatural power of God. So I want to welcome every single one of you on the broadcast tonight this morning, this evening, wherever you, wherever you connected from. We also have people connected on, on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, just drop me a comment. Let me know where you guys are connected from. I know it's late, but it's early. It's uh, for those of you in different nations, different time zones. In actual fact, this time in South Africa, it's peak time on, on Facebook and even YouTube. So I know that the Lord is going to minister to many as you guys come in. Uh, make sure that you tag your friends and family. We're going to see a beautiful move of the Spirit of God. And we're going to focus again on the prophetic. We're going to focus on the prophetic. We're going to minister to a lot of people in the prophetic. We've been doing these sessions and we've seen a tremendous impact of the presence and the power of God upon people's lives as we've been prophesying, flowing on the prophetic, miracles, signs, wonders. And there's no distance in the realm of the Spirit. The glory of God is here. The presence of God is tangible here. And we're going to allow Holy Spirit to do the work. So help me quickly, while we wait for everybody to come in, help me quickly just to share the broadcast and also to get it out to different groups. Be a digital evangelist by getting the word out to your world. We want to see your friends, your family, your loved ones impacted by the presence and the power of the Holy Ghost. We want to see lives transformed by the power of the Holy Ghost. We want to see lives changed by the power of God. And I know that Holy Spirit is going to minister to us. There are people hungry for a now word from heaven. And I'm going to show you how you are going to thrive in the midst of what's happening right now. In South Africa, for those of you living in different nations, we are battling with load shedding. This means that the power is out most of the time. So that's a challenge we're face, facing in this nation. But I want to give you keys tonight how you can thrive in the midst of disaster, in the midst of famine, in the midst of lack, in the midst of scarcity. There is a realm where you begin to bloom and blossom and flourish in every area of your life. And that is the keys I want to give you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you connected from. I want to give you those keys, how you can flourish in the midst of difficult times. How you can prosper in the midst of a crisis. So be hungry, be thirsty, be desperate for the Lord to minister to you. 
We're going to pray at the end. We're also going to pray miracle prayers, baptism in the Holy Spirit, that many will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Many will be saturated with the power of the Holy Ghost. So quickly, just drop the name of your city where you're connected from, and then we're going to go into powerful, powerful revelation of the Word. We're going to see the power of God illuminate our lives. We're going to see the Holy Ghost saturate our beings. So just drop the name of your city and then also begin to tag your friends, your family, your loved ones. Tag your world in the broadcast. London, UK, we just had a powerful move of God uh, last night. Beautiful, beautiful move of the Spirit of God in the launching of our prophetic institute. UK is in the house. Canada, that's awesome. All my international friends, welcome, welcome. Louis Trichard, UK, a lot of people from UK, Nigeria, uh, USA. That's right, just comment the name of your city, where you connected from. And I'm really believing God that there would be an impartation of the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life, that there will be a shifting in your life as the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon you. We also live on YouTube, so I see all of your comments. Those of you on YouTube, I see all of your comments. Durban is in the house, beautiful. Good to be with you guys. It's going to be glorious. I sense the anointing here. I sense the power of God here. Ruda Port is in the house. Come on. Beautiful. Natasha, bless you. Jenny. Langabon is in the house. We just planted a church in Langabon. Water. Come on. West Coast. Brits. Cape Town. Durban. That's awesome. Remember, guys, to turn on your notifications. If you're watching live right now, make sure that you have your notifications turned on. Make sure that you like this page. Bless you, Claire Centurion. Four Ways is in the house. Make sure that you also subscribe to the YouTube channel, Revival Church. There's more than a thousand teachings that will bless your life. Krugersdorp is in the house. I'm going to be in Krugersdorp Sunday night. And we're going to have a beautiful time in the presence of God. Kells River. That's right. Be a digital evangelist. Keep sharing and keep tagging. It has always been the presence of God that has caused me to prosper. And Moses had that revelation. Bless you, Tony. He said, God, I will not go unless your presence goes with me. I don't want to do anything if the weight of your glory, if the weight of your presence is not tangible upon my life. I want, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm desperate for the weight of your presence to rest upon my life. And I want to give you the biggest key to success in life. The biggest key to bloom, to blossom, to flourish in life is the manifest presence of God. Bless you, Emily, Miami, Florida. Paul is in the house. Beautiful. So keep sharing as you guys come and keep tagging. We're going to have a beautiful time. Bless you, Amanda. Beautiful time in the revelation of his word. Living in the presence of God. When you live in the presence of God, you'll hate sin. When you live in the presence of God, you will hate sin. When you live in the glory, when you truly live in the glory of God, not just some, not just emotionalism, because some people think it's the glory of God, but it's just emotionalism. I'm talking about the tangible, manifest presence of God. And I want to take you to the scripture and I want to show you how you can flourish, how you can bloom and blossom and prosper in every area of your life as a result of the weighty presence of God upon your life. 
the tangible weight of the glory of God. I see those realms being released, even as we're going to minister to many people, even as we're going to flow in the Holy Ghost. I see that realm of the manifest presence of God coming upon many. So watch this now. Jesus prays in John 17, 22. John 7, 22. And I do not pray for these alone, but for those also who shall believe on me through their word, that they may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. A dimension of oneness, a realm of oneness in the presence of God. that they also may be one in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. In essence, he's saying they will only believe when they experience, when they encounter the manifest presence of God. Preach the gospel. If necessary, use words. But where you become a carrier of the weight of the presence of God, words become few. There were meetings we've had where the weight of the glory invaded the atmosphere in such a way where I could only teach for like 20 minutes. What preaching and teaching cannot do, that the presence of God can do. The Bible says, so that they may be one, as you, Father, are one in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. When they see that synergy, when they see that oneness, they will believe when they encounter the manifest presence of God. They will believe. Not one person can deny the reality of the presence of God. Not one can walk away from having a divine, sovereign, miraculous encounter with the presence of God. Everything begins to change in that individual's life. The way they speak, the way they live, the way they walk. It is in that place where transformation takes place. What happened when Saul of Tarsus experienced the presence of the living Christ firsthand? His entire life was revolutionized by the presence of God. There in your homes right now, there where you're connected, there's a tangible release of the weight of the glory of God's presence. The Bible says, I am in them. And you, on, and you are in me, that they may be made perfect in one, that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter number 3 and verse 18, and the Bible says, and we with unveiled faces, all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So God looks at us as children being transformed into His very likeness. We share His glory. Therefore, we share His unlimited potential. You share. You have access to the unlimited potential of the living God. Becoming one with the Father, one with the Son, one with the Spirit gives you now access 
to the unlimited potential of the living God. How many of you agree with me that if you begin to investigate the potential of God, you see that it's unlimited. And now he's saying, because <clears throat> you have become one with me, you have access to unlimited potential. What God is about to do in and through your life, what God is about to manifest through you is his unlimited limited potential the world is going to experience it the people around you will experience the unlimited potential of the living God 2 Peter 1 and verse 3 says the Bible says as his divine power has given to us all things that line right there speaks of the potential of God when you step into the presence of God, <clears throat> when you walk into the manifest presence of God and you begin to experience that tangible weight of the glory of God, you are stepping in to the dimension of God. You are stepping into the God zone. And when you step into the realm, the Bible says His divine power has given to us all things that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue. So if our Father is a heavyweight, your Papa, your Heavenly Father is a heavyweight, then that is exactly what you as His sons and His daughter must look like. You become a heavy weight in the realm of the Spirit. This means that the weightiness of God's potential, power, and presence rests tangibly upon your life. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 2 and verse 6 to 8, However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, Yet not the wisdom of this age, nor the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. But we speak wisdom of God in a mystery. The hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. The Bible says in verse 8, which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they have known, they would have not have crucified the Lord of glory. The Bible says, if they knew who they were beating, if they knew who they are crucifying, the Son of the living God, the Bible says, if they had known, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. The Bible calls God the Lord of glory. The glory of God is the essence of all that God is. We are, we are in pursuit of the manifest glory of God. We are in pursuit of the manifest presence of God. This means that we want to meet with God face to face. We want to experience Him face to face. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 14. Thank you guys for sharing and tagging. A few moments from now, I want to minister to a lot of people in the prophetic. I sense a very strong prophetic anointing. We're going to pray miracle prayers and flow in the power of the Holy Ghost. So make sure that you quickly share this broadcast tag your world in this broadcast as the anointing as the glory of God is tangible here it's going to heal cancers it's going to heal incurable diseases the power of God is going to flow right through your screen there where you're watching on Facebook and YouTube the glory of God's presence is going to invade your house right now and there are friends and family that we can minister to right now 
if you'll just be a digital evangelist by tagging them, sharing the broadcast, getting the link out to them. Let's see the power of God touch your friends, your family, your loved ones this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever nation you're watching from. Let's see the manifest presence of God flow through the screen and touch your loved ones. As I lay the foundation of the word, I sense the glory of God intensifying. I sense the presence of God intensifying. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 14, so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, the cloud of the glory. If you study the glory of God, hey, bless you, Stacy. If you study the glory of God, if you study the presence of God under the old covenant, you see that it manifested in different forms. The beautiful story of God leading the children of Israel out of captivity. The Bible says that they were in bondage under the rule of Pharaoh for more than 400 years. But God raised a deliverer, Moses. And the Bible says that unusual signs, wonders, and miracles begin to manifest at the decree of the Lord. The ten plagues that were sent into the camp of the enemy in Egypt was a manifestation of the presence of God. There was always natural phenomena as the glory of God's presence began to manifest. It would always manifest in the form of a cloud by day. The Bible says that God had to lead them through the wilderness. Now, the sun was so excruciating hot in that wilderness that if God did not give them a cloud by day, they would have scorched to death. They would have been scorched to death by the sun. But the presence of God, the glory of God manifested in the form of provision. One of the signs of the glory of God upon a Christian, upon an individual. One of the signs of the presence of God upon an individual's life is provision. And I'll give you a few signs of the glory of God upon an individual's life. The first sign of the manifest glory of God is provision. Supernatural provision. Moses said, I will not go. If, if your presence, if your manifest presence does not go with me, I will not go. He knew that he was sunk without the manifest presence of God. And the Bible says that God gave the children of Israel a cloud by day. The cloud, as the cloud moved, they moved. As they moved, the cloud moved. Well, at night, the wilderness was, was so cold that they would have died from the cold if God did not give them a pillar of fire by night. A pillar of fire by night to warm them up. Can you imagine a massive fire right in the sky, in the wilderness sky, warming them up every single night? As they journey through the wilderness, that is the presence of God manifesting. It was a tangible, visible manifestation of the glory of God's presence. Provision is a tangible, visible manifestation of the presence and the glory of God upon an individual's life. The Bible says that God provided supernaturally for them. The Bible says that bread began to rain, fresh manna began to rain out of heaven for them miraculously. Moses hit the rock, water came gushing out of the rock. Miraculous provision. The Bible says that their cloves did not even deteriorate. God anointed their cloves supernaturally. God kept them fresh and rejuvenated in the midst of a dying, dry 
wilderness. There was miraculous provision. The second thing you will see that will manifest as a result of the presence and the glory of God is supernatural protection. Protection will be upon you and your family. Protection will be upon you and your house. Protection around your life. There are so many times that I can tell you of where I, I should have died. But because of the presence of God and the glory of God around my life, my life was preserved every single time. That is the result of the manifest presence of God. Protection. The second manifestational sign of the glory of God's presence is supernatural protection. Everything about the presence of God is supernatural. Presence yet person, in person. When his presence manifests, he reveals who he is. He comes as the person of the Christ. The third manifestation or sign of the glory of God's presence is supernatural acceleration where things begin to accelerate supernaturally from the realm of the glory of God's presence and that was Eden it was the tangible manifestation of the presence of God Adam and Eve walked and lived in the presence of God from Genesis 1 where God manifested his presence the Bible says and the earth was void and without form and the Spirit of God hovered upon the face of the deep from that dimension where Holy Spirit was there from the get-go we see how God spoke a word in his presence and there was accelerative manifestation he said trees boom and there was full grown trees the presence of god spared them the time of accumulation jumulation and even growth they were immediate full grown trees because from that realm of the presence where God spoke, there was supernatural acceleration. Miraculous acceleration. That's what you will see in your life. Acceleration will manifest. Things will begin to accelerate. If I tell you my story, where we started and where we're now, it has always been very fast what God has done. We have seen the speed of heaven manifest where things take others years to accomplish we saw God do it in his presence in a matter of months I can give you a testimony even on the building we had to raise in Montana the contractors said to me it cannot be done in a month give us a year to do this project in one month God did it we had to believe God for millions to be released to finish the project in a, in 30 days there was supernatural provision and by the grand opening the building was ready the property was ready and God did it in the presence in the presence of God things happen quickly in the presence of God there is acceleration in the presence of God the speed of heaven comes upon your life And I want to come in agreement that that realm of the manifest presence of God will come upon you and your family, will come upon you and your house. Those three signs of the presence of God, I want to come in agreement that it would manifest upon you, upon your finances, upon your business, upon your career. Every area of your life will experience the manifest presence of God. Let me finish reading the scripture. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 5.14, so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. 
2 Chronicles 5, 13, the Bible says, and they were as one to, and they were as one to the trumpeters and to the singers to make one sound, to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord as they lifted up their voices with the trumpeters and the cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For He is good, for His mercy is endearest forever, that the house was filled with a cloud of the glory of God. What activates the presence of God? What causes the presence of God to manifest in your life? I'm going to give you a few keys. I gave you three signs of the presence of God. Supernatural provision. Supernatural protection. Supernatural acceleration. Things begin to happen quickly. The Lord maneuvers you into places that took other people years to move into. You moving it quickly. The presence of God. The three major signs of the presence of God. What activates the presence of God in your life. I want to give you a few keys. Make sure that you share the broadcast. We're going to minister to a lot of people. A few moments from now, I see many are already being touched by the power of God's Word. Many are being filled with the revelation of His Word. And we're going to see the Holy Ghost move right now. We're going to see the power of God move. The Bible says they begin to sing praises unto the Lord. And the cloud of the glory fills the house. God cannot deny a worshiper. When you begin to worship, He responds on your worship. Worship is what God longs for. Worship is what God is desperate for. In fact, the Bible says He formed us. He fashioned us to declare His praises. The reason he called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light was to show forth his praises. God is moved by our worship. The power even of corporate worship. When people come together to lift up the name of the Christ, when people come together to press into the presence of God, the presence of God responds to worship. The second thing is when you study His Word, when you meditate upon His Word, there are so many times, even now, as I read the Scripture, I can feel the presence of God tangible on my mortal body. I can feel it on my hands. I sense it on my hands. I sense it on my face. I can literally sense the weight of the glory of God here just by reading His Word, just by investing time in His Word. He is the Word. The moment I begin to meditate upon His Word, I sense His tangible manifest presence around me. It's like He's sitting right next to me and He's teaching me, guiding me, leading me to the revelation of His Word. What activates the presence of God in your life? is the meditation of the Word of God. Meditate upon the Word of God day and night and you will make your ways prosperous. So watch this now. The third thing is praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Spirit. Something about praying in the Spirit that causes the presence of God to manifest in a tangible way. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. I sense the weight of His glory here. 
And I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost there where you are, in your house, in your living room, there where you're watching from. I sense the glory of God's presence coming into your homes. I sense the weight of His presence coming into your homes, even in this moment. I, I sense the heaviness of His glory all over me. And Father, in the name of the Christ, I bring every single one of your people before your throne of grace. I thank you for the power of your word, the revelation of your word. I decree and declare, I prophesy those three manifestations or three signs of your presence will manifest upon your people. I loose that upon your people. I declare from the realm of the presence of God, supernatural provision will manifest, supernatural protection and supernatural acceleration. Let the spirit of high speed come upon them in the name of the Christ. Remove every limitation from their life, spirit of the living God, and breathe upon your people. I lose. There it is, there it is. Even as you open your mouth in the presence of God, as you open your mouth, the weight of the glory of God fills your house. La vrepra acasto corte la maca artele campanto nostra. Mest erdi est elavayasta brancantost erte kavayan. I pray even in this moment as you pray in the Holy Ghost. And even those that cannot pray in the Spirit. I want you to give me a fire emoji. Even those that have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, we're going to come in agreement right now. La brekatos elavayast ableka brantononostaya. Eesti brante ardeketele barda makos ekertavaya. Jem brante elaris erdias abrakatos abrenea. Jem brante de de basto. Father, those that have never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I loose from the top of the head to the very soles of their feet the baptism in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking with other tongues. I loose it now, Father, that it is one, two, three. <laughs> Be filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Now just open your mouth and begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. Reda ase levaya, makarda dis o korte lavar da la bashete de davaya. Marentele arde le brokos abrikateles abrashtaya. Gentela nas or de gaiest abrikadides to brataya. Le brokorte, Jesus said, be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Spirit of God. Barus o cortele avarnia su corta lavaya. Gembrantele erdikeis abrekados alavacastaya. Gencardanias elebreke elerias abrekatosta. Gentele na maso precadida vaso coprataya. Gentas erdelkeis ebrenos ola prancardaninos to prataya. Fill your people, Holy Ghost. Fill your people. Fill your people. Fill your people. Bados erdikantelinaya. That's right. Keep tagging. Keep tagging. Keep tagging. Keep tagging. Keep sharing. Rodos elebrekadea. There are many being healed by the power of the Holy Ghost right now. There are many being healed by the power of God. Sick in body right now. Listening, watching. I see the miracle working power of God coming upon you. You've been battling with infirmity in your body, but I command it to go in the name of the Christ and I lose fire upon your body. Holy Ghost fire burns up that infirmity, burns up that sickness and disease. Loose and be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. There it is. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Mareka dos ekala paranayam. Anika, fresh fire is coming upon you right now. Jebretele arigas o corte la fire. There it is, there it is. Fresh fire impartation. Badus elakantenias elavaya se preketoya. 
Broduris ebria edili asa bronk antelinius elevias de brekem. There it is, there it is. And then I saw in the spirit the Palser family, the Palser family. I, I see the development of and even the construction of the Lord in your life. I saw the construction of the Lord in your life. And the Lord wants you to know that this is going to be a season of a lot of training where God is going to train you into the woman of God that he has destined you to be. There's been a lot of shaking and the enemy has come in even in your house like a flood. But in this season, there will be the removal of all demonic oppression. The removal of all demonic oppression. And victory shall be your portion. Karen, just comment if you saw there. Karen, I saw your name and the Lord begin to speak to me about you. Mateleva aredeka soprakaya. Marekos elebre edeka sokora pashatai. Mantele eredebo sokora pashatai. Karen. Karen and Annette, I'm going to prophesy over you. Belekena nosa. Berlis oriba akanto ostekalanaya. So I heard the Lord say that there is a deepening even in apostolic prophetic training. I saw that in the realm of the Spirit. And the Lord wants you to know that there is the sharpening of a prophetic voice, a prophetic voice that is going to bring through your life very strong flow of the prophetic and you're going to see yourself prophesy in the realms and dimensions of authority but there's going to be preparation great great preparation in that prophetic call that is upon your life a very strong prophetic anointing and i saw in the spirit how god is going to sharpen you in the prophetic grace deep realms and the mysteries of the prophetic will be released you will even begin to operate in the gift of a word of knowledge in a very very powerful way and i see even how holy spirit is imparting that gift into your life Karen. that gift that gift will be evident in your life the gift of a word of knowledge you'll receive deep deep accurate words of knowledge is for people you'll be in their presence and the lord will begin to show you things divinely strategically by his spirit i loose that upon your life and i impart it from the top of your head to the very soles of your feet car and receive it in jesus mighty name there it is there it is receive it Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Badele coronos of fire. Berkenoster. Anet. Marecht ele cardenos of prata. Le precanoso cofra pashatai. Madele carnoso copaya. And remember, guys, the Lord spoke to me to keep the global prophetic institute open for people to join any thursday and those of you on here that is even from different nations you can join us this coming thursday we'll be going into the second session and this is exclusively on zoom and you can connect from your nation you can join us from your nation you can be part of it from your nation i'll have you on the zoom right in front of me i'll be able to see your faces and minister personal personally in the prophetic and then a lot of teaching i'm going to give you in fact we've already established a telegram group where all the manuals are at that you can already go through it 
So if you're on here, I want you to send me a message. If, if, you, need, if you want the Zoom link to this coming Thursday night, we're going to go deep in the realms of the prophetic. And this is why I do it exclusively on Zoom. I get to see your faces and minister the power of God, minister the presence of God, minister the glory of God, but also train you in the call that is upon your life. And that's the beauty of technology because you connect from your nation. You connect from your nation and the power of God will touch you there in your house where you are. In fact, what you guys will receive is loss last night's zoom link you can go and watch it once you are added to that group all the teachings will stay there all the sessions will stay there and the first module will be for five thursday nights and i want to make sure that every single one of you do not miss out on your divine appointment of holy spirit and like i said you can connect and sign up from your nation so annette I want, to, I want to release the word of the Lord over you as God begins to speak to me about you. So if there's anybody on here before I prophesy over her that wants to join the Global Prophetic Institute, I want you to comment quickly. Just drop a comment if you, if you want to be part of the Global Prophetic Institute. And this is for everybody. You don't write exams. We don't write any exams. It's just me teaching you in the prophetic. You will have the notes in front of you. And then we get to minister individually over people in the prophetic, also prophetic counseling, one-on-ones in the prophetic. And this is exclusively for people in the prophetic institute. I know that you are hungry for the move of God. You're hungry to be raised up in the power of God. And this has been set up for the hungry. This has been set up for those that are desperate to be raised up in the power of God. So what you can do is go to my Facebook and then you'll see right on top, there is a WhatsApp button. Send me a WhatsApp. I see Corin wants to join. Pulsar family wants to join. So what you guys quickly have to do is just send me a WhatsApp. And then I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. So go to my Facebook. You can send the WhatsApp. It will come straight to this phone. Paula says would love to be part of it. Just send me a WhatsApp, Paula. Go to my Facebook page. Right on top, the top banner, just beneath the top banner, you'll find the WhatsApp, the blue WhatsApp button. Click on it. And then just say, I want to be part of the Prophetic Institute. And I'll send you all the information. Like I said, I'm going to, the Lord spoke to me to keep it open so people can fall in at any time. And this is going to be Thursday nights on Zoom. Prudence says, want to join. Awesome. So go ahead and do that. I'll wait upon your messages. And then I'll give you the information. It's glorious what the Spirit of God is doing. The revelation that is flowing. And the hours and years that it took me to put those manuals together. It will truly bless your life. Emily says, well, make contact with you for Thursday. Awesome. Parekos ola paranashete. Keep sharing, guys. Keep sharing. Keep tagging. Beautiful Jesus. What I saw, Annette, I still have you pinned to my screen, so I haven't forgotten about you. But what I saw in the Spirit is how God is going to use you as a catalyst. As a catalyst. Also like a custodian, I saw the anointing of the custodian upon your life. This means that God will entrust you with keys. He will 
entrusts you with keys to open certain doors. And I saw in the spirit five keys that is going to give you to five major doors that you are going to walk through. You'll see it unfold even in the next seven months. But you must go through prophetic training. You must be raised up in the power of God. Therefore, I want you part of the prophetic institute. Because I saw in the spirit even a very strong move that is going to come through your life even amongst a woman and the Spirit of God wants you to know that it is in this season it's in this time of divine alignment for your kingdom assignment that you would see the hand of God come upon your life you would see the hand of God come upon you and there would be grace that would be released through your life and I saw this grace being the activators this grace activating those five doors that you're going to walk through and you'll come back and you'll testify of those five doors that open to you and the Lord wants you to know it is because he loves you I just felt the heart of God towards you Annette I felt the heart of God towards you and the Spirit of God wants you to know that there will be a strong visitation upon your family or children, the presence of God, in fact, is filling your house right now where you connect it. The glory of His presence is tangible. Watch as the Spirit of God will take you through those doors and you will come back with the testimony of His goodness, of His mercy, and of His favor upon your life I loose that upon you in the mighty name of Jesus that's the glory of God all over you Annette that's the tangible glory of God Nothing more beautiful than the Spirit of God touching His people, ministering to His people. That's the weight of His presence overwhelming you. La ricos elebre acast o corte la mashta. Rentele as de mrancarda nost erdevies aprecataya. Gentele vri asto breca nosta fraya. Gede la vardies o corte la pascha te redapaya. Beautiful Savior, we honor your presence, we adore your presence. That's right, thank you guys for sharing and telling. Keep sharing the broadcast. Share it quickly on your Facebook page. Get it out to different groups. There's a tangible flow of the anointed. Is a tangible flow of, of, of the power of God, of the glory of God. Jadeles eprekanosophia, Giandranto or de dest eke parda la nosso copaia, Jedela viest arda mantolo or de queste prataia, Je precades o la paranosso corapaia, Giest ardenonto, Ben glenteninis a caparanosso corapaia. Berlis o brecades o corta la masciataia. Giandranto os de quebranta de naia. Levri quebredos o copaia. Giandres or de le bacarta la vash et in a masto. We honor you, Holy Spirit. We honor your tangible presence. Fill every house. Saturate every house in the weight of your glory, in the weight of your presence. Bacasto corta la vaya. Fill every hungry heart. Heal every broken heart. In the name of the Christ, the Son of the living God, I loose it upon your people. I impart great grace in the mighty name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen. What a beautiful, 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 beautiful time in the glory of God. Thank you for sharing this word. Thank you for sharing it with your world. 
I'm looking forward to ministering individually to every single one of you. Even this coming Thursday night, as we prepare ourselves, as we meet on Zoom in the Global Prophetic Institute, I'm going to train you in the prophetic. There's going to be prophetic counseling, and we're going to see the power of God move. We're going to see the Lord heal many, many hearts. So if you want to be part of the Prophetic Institute, let me know and I'll get you the Zoom link and make you part. Right now, in fact, you can send me a WhatsApp and we'll make you part of what the Spirit of God is doing. There are many I see still under a very heavy weight of the glory of God. And I love your testimonies. Thank you for sharing your testimonies. I believe in God that from this realm that you will see miraculous intervention of the glory of His presence upon every area of your life. Any questions about the Prophetic Institute, quickly ask me those questions. Kerry Ann says, Zoom link, thank you. You have to WhatsApp me for that, Kerry Ann, and we'll send the information how you can be part of the Prophetic Institute. Governor, want to be part of the Prophetic Move. So as we sow into the presence of God, as we sow into the glory of God, trust His Word. Depend on His Word. Rely on His Word. If He said it, that settles it, it's done. He's faithful to His Word. Even as I give you opportunity to sow from your nation, where you're watching from, you are responding to the presence of God. When the presence of God begins to manifest, we respond. And we connect to that grace. As the Spirit of God moves you, Know the words of the Christ, that he who gives, gifts will be given to him. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will men pour into your bosom. If you're from another nation, you can give also on the website. Go to revivalcc.co.za, and you can use PayFos as a method to give into the kingdom of God. Also, the South African FMB account is on the screen as a lower third. As you sow in the glory of His presence, you are sowing in fertile ground. You are sowing in good soil where the presence of God manifests, where the glory of God manifests. That is fertile ground. That is good soil. And when you put your seed in that soil, it begins to multiply miraculously. Father, in the name of the Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray for every single one of your people, sowing in the glory, giving into the move of your presence, connecting to your presence, advancing your kingdom. Your word says that you would open the windows of heaven for them and pour them a blessing, that there will not be room enough to receive it even as they give from different nations, even those honoring you in their tithes and their offerings, God. I give you praise, glory, and honor that the seed will produce after its own kind in the mighty name of Jesus and that your people will come back with a miracle testimony of the power of God in operation in Jesus' mighty name. And all of God's people say amen. Thank you for sharing this broadcast, getting the word out to your world. The power of God is here. The glory of God's presence is here. And I decree and declare the signs of the glory of God. Supernatural provision. Supernatural protection. 
supernatural acceleration will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you that you get this word out to your world. Remember, I also have a Telegram channel and you can connect to that channel. There's exclusive content that we share there. Revelation that we share, powerful revelation notes that I share on that channel. You can just scan the code and it will take you straight to my Telegram channel or just punch in Apostle Jean-Pierre Backer in the search engine on Telegram and be part of that channel. Many times I go live there and I prophesy individually over many people. I appreciate you guys. Bless you. Bless you. Koredi, bless you. Samantha, so many of you guys that have connected from different nations. And if you're new on here, welcome to this channel. There's a lot of content, even in our YouTube channel, that will bless you. Go to Revival Church. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's a lot of free content there that you can check out. More than a thousand teachings that will bless your life. And I know that there are people connected from all over the globe, hungry, thirsty, and desperate for the revelation of the Word of God. I love you guys. I pray for you. And you will come back with a testimony of the goodness of God, of the mercy of God, of the faithfulness of God in every area of your life. In the name of the Christ, the Son of the living God. I love you guys. Bless you. Thank you for sharing this broadcast. What a powerful teaching. I don't know about you, but I sense the very weight of the glory of God's presence here. I sense the tangible weight. And I know it's there in your homes. It's there in your house, permeating your being in His presence. Bless you.